welcome back to Cards of Time series. Okay, so we've looked at what the cards are, how they're used a little bit. We've looked at a one card and a two card spread. Right, let's have a look at the three card spread that they use in the book, the present, the past, and the future. Okay, <coughs> so think about your question, frame it, then draw three cards. First one is the present, the second one's the past, and the last one's the third one's the future. The first card will state the moment or time frame that was relevant to your question in the past. The second question will denote the time that is presently important. And the third card will point out the time frame that matters for your question in the future. Okay, so say, you know, we're talking about relationships. We're talking about maybe a job. Okay, so what? Um, when will I get my job interview? When will I get my job interview? What's happening with my job interview? When will... Oh. And the first card we have is... It says finalise, just let things go. It says Friday. So on a Friday, we're going to feel like we're going to get the answers. Like it was a Friday in the past that we really sort of made that decision in regards to the job situation okay so tell us the present let's have a look the present oh again we get seven so within the next week so it was friday maybe we put in our cv we got the we got a first you know that first inkling in regards to the job talking about a week Definitely feels like it could be about a week or so before we actually get that next start in the present. Now let's have a look at the future. So I guess this, um, again, we're getting sevens. Interesting here. So we've got Saturday, searching for joy and staying agile. So maybe by a, it'll be a Saturday. It does say a week, doesn't it? So it does say Friday, maybe things that are present. And then um, after that week is up, after that first week is up, then we'll find maybe we might get a little bit of clarity um, in regards to working. Maybe we're working on a Saturday. Maybe Saturdays might be part of our job situation. So let's have a look. In the past, we looked at a Friday. So let's have a Friday in regards to the job. Friday in, for, in regards to the job, which is interesting. So Friday in regards to job said negotiations depend more on empathy and fair accommodation than confident and vigorous reinforcement of your interests if you want them to be successful. Interesting. So number seven in regards to the job. It says it goes up hill and down dale. And you might even feel powerless at times. So at the moment you might be feeling a little bit uncertain, you're unsure. It just says accept your fate can be. So whatever happens it's whatever it's meant to be and it might be a disappointment for some reason right it does say by saturday um we might get a little bit of clarity about the situation so let's have a look at what it says for saturday in regards to the job okay job it says what is the use of the best intentions when the attitude to life is narrow and nothing would ever be completed Success is to take delight in what is now and still remains open for something new. So when you're looking at that, it just tells me, no, you're not going to get the job that you actually want. Um, I think it's been opening up for something new. You wanted to know if you're going to get the job. When you look at this, it just says, look, you've put, the, you've put your application in. You've done what you needed to do. Um, you've got to wait patiently. And um, um, things are uncertain at the moment. It feels like things and you just got to wait and be patient. Um, basically, it says, no, it just doesn't feel like it's going to be the job situation. You're not going to get the job. But something new is waiting for you. Okay. 
So interesting, interesting in that aspect. I love that. There. So I just want to share that really quickly with you in regards to a three card spread. Now you could try it with any other spread that you want, however you want to do it. Um, let's do the five card spread here. So let's shuffle card. So card one represents the core time that is relevant to the question. Okay, so let's talk about um, when will I get a pay raise? When will I get a pay rise? When will I get a pay rise? Oh, okay. So a thing here. And basically it says maybe in the next 11 weeks, 11 months. Um, it does say Aquarius. Um, it's talking about a fresh, give a fresh impetuous, impet, impetuous. Give a fresh impetuous. Okay, just say 11 weeks, so maybe 11 months. So let's have a look at that. We asked, when will we get um, a pay rise? So that's the core. So let's have a look at the, um, what I say it was? Aquarius. Like I said, 11. Give a French impetus. Impetus. Number 11 is hidden underneath the wintry snowpack, completely new life revolves. Now we talked about um, finances. So in general it says in the time frame of Aquarius, you'll find the answer to your question. So it could be that um, during that time. Maybe we'll get some clarity to when we're actually going to get. We did say 11 weeks, which could work out about right. January the 18th is within the next 11 weeks. To 18th, or 18th of February, should I say? 18th of February. Because it's from 20th of January to the 18th of February. 18th of February. So it's just under three months. So what are we now? December, January, February. December, all of December, January and February. There we go. Talked about three, basically three months. 11 weeks is close to three months. So yeah, you could say within the next three months we could find out a little bit more about our finances. Right, so the next question, next position of the spread is card states the time of female energy of yin yin energy and we have alpha and omega you're free in the choice of the moment you are free in the choice of the moment alpha to omega into his moment as an open sun wheel lets energy pour inward and outward a cosmic event around a core you can't do anything wrong at the moment no matter what you do now so it's just about being patient just really about being patient just everything will work out as it's supposed to card number three is is the male energy so this one here which talks about is six um talks about enjoying the moment you know being patient having some fun just being in the moment is going to be so important here straight away that's what I'm getting straight away from here is just being in the moment um, not being worrying about to don't worry too much about the finances it is going to happen in the next you know pay raise You're not too worried about pay, pay rise it is going to work out the way it's supposed to so you just got to enjoy life for what it is enjoy the job enjoy what you're doing Card number four talks about the duration of the karmic task behind it. Okay, so we have take a stand and follow your energy. Take a stand and follow your energy. Okay, so it's Thursday. So let's have a look and see what Thursday has to say here in general. 
So now is the time of an assignment on higher ideals that can carry and spread out your soul. Remember that these ideals are yours alone. Don't impose them on others. So don't impose your thoughts in regards to your raise or anything like in your finances or anything else on other people. Don't talk about it. Keep it silent. It is about you. Um, very much so. So this is about not talking about your raise. Just, you know, you've got, you've put it in. It says it's going to happen in about three, you know, less, just under three months. Um, like I say, 11 weeks. It feels like things are going to, you know, go according to plan. Just says be patient. Enjoy life for the moment. Enjoy life over the next three months. And don't talk about it to anyone else. Okay, don't talk about it to anyone else. It's all about being in the moment. Um, don't worry too much about that. It's about following your own energy. I just feel like you don't need to talk about it at all to anyone else. Okay, card number five says, points out the time when the whole matter will come to the conclusion. Okay, it feels like it's definitely going to be a Friday, end of week. This is going to be like the end of the financial week. Um, it does feel like it's going to, like everything's going to work out. It just says, finalize something it's going to be finalized on the friday so let's have a look and see what it says for in regards to friday um it does say that things will be finalized um in regards to the job it could be into let's have a look to complete something and to finalize it you need to be ready to let it go and to release it into its very own realm um, there may be some negotiations and there may be some um, fair accommodations and be confident, vigorous. Just to let them be successful. I just feel like everything, yeah, I do feel like overall, I do feel like you're going to get a raise in three in less than three months. I think you just got to be patient. you just got to enjoy life for what it is. Um, don't worry too much about it. Don't talk about it to anyone else. Um, it comes from within yourself. I think that's very important. You said what you needed to say in regards to your raise i think you just got to be patient you've got to wait um and on a friday end of the week i think it will be finalized it will come to a conclusion i think you'll get your answer and you'll get the sense of clarity and everything going in there okay so that's one another way that you can use these cards to do a reading. When will I get my raise? And that was sort of the answer that I sort of got there. Quite good with a five card um, spread in that case. So that's it for me for today. Don't forget to check the links down below. Check the links on my channel. Like, subscribe and ring the bell so you know when the next video will be uploaded. Take care.